somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. <laughs> Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Bly Manor. We are already on episode five. I can hardly believe it. This one is called The Altar of the Dead, and this show has been so damn good. I just can't wait to get to it. I'm so hyped up for it. I, I, I did my salute when I was supposed to be doing my, my Bon Jovi. It shows how excited I am for it. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. It's Bly. Let's go! We can't count on the past. That's what I learned taking care of Mum. We think we have it trapped in our memories, but memories fade or they're wrong. Any of us could die at any moment. We can't count on our future either. No past, no future. You're young. Like, you have a past, you have a future. Now, I'd argue you can count on both. Poor oh, sweet trunk man. Oh, Anna. <laughs> Always the voice of reason. And now I'm thinking, Maybe I'll go back to Paris. Not without Hannah. I mean, you could, couldn't you? Oh, come I can. oh you can see she's pretty. I'm, I'm pulling for these two. Come on, Owen. Time to go home. So that was a nice, like, rewind to what mm -hmm. was going on. Yep. Yeah, while they were in the garden house or whatever. I like how I'll they did that. I'll call you later. <laughs> 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 That's a good line. <laughs> it's all good. I hope she meant between them. Are you Hannah? Whoa. Uh, I'm in Sharma. Ooh, flashback. Yeah. Right, yes. Well, I'm, I'm all set. Hannah Grace, it's a, it's a pleasure. Please do. What's going on here? I worked in a restaurant in the Marais. Well, I'm afraid this job might bore you. Why do you want to work at Bly? I'm looking at this as an opportunity to hone my skills. In, in Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let me chop vegetables. Here, I'll be putting everything together myself. It'll be a, a great learning experience. Well, I'll only have two children to cook for. I'm not sure that's the type of experience you want. <laughs> Miles is seven and rather picky. Flora is five. Chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. We need a cook who intends to stay on for a while. Yesterday, my mother thought it was 1962 and that I was my grandfather. That's why I'm here. Need to make a living while I mind her, and but I won't go running off. <laughs> uh, sorry, were you? Uh, were you? Uh, it's... So weird. Weird way to. Whoa. Exit. We are getting on a trip yeah. with Hannah. Hey, at least I'm getting finally something with Hannah because I was like, "Give us more." We're finally getting her perspective right. now. The wing graves are here. Okay, thank you. Okay, see, I didn't. I thought maybe they were already gone, and she just didn't tell him that yet. But she was acting very strange. Yeah, ah. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> How are things? Oh well, you know, uh, same as always, Mom. Hello, Anna. lovely to see your face. And yours too, Sam. <laughs> We'll have tea this week. You'll tell me okay. all about how numbingly constant everything. Well, I should like that very much, Mom. I want to see if her attitude changes now. Uh, oh um, boy, lighten up. They'll bring those in directly, will you? Immediately. <laughs> Kenny's okay, just a shit starter, isn't he? Oh, she did not like him back then either. What is going on? She keeps like time jumping. Oh, there's somebody there on the right. You see it? Missed it. I was I was looking at the left. Uh, <laughs> can't believe I missed it. Damn it! It was like a, a guy in like a, a button-up shirt. Is it an old Bentley and a Benz? Yeah. <laughs> Does she maybe keep reliving those days? Are we getting what's getting like in her head? Are we seeing what's in her head? Like replaying inside her head? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I think oh, she no. keeps going. Oh, no. Sorry, Mom. I, I thought you'd left. You usually leave before. Is Sam coming to get you? Why is she, why is she out walking so late at night? <gasps> surely you're not walking back to town, surely. I'll arrange a ride or take you myself. No, really, I'm... Or you can stay here, you know, forever if you need to. This is weird. <laughs> I 
I'm such a schmuck when it comes to this type of, are we dreaming? Are we seeing like some kind of level of subconsciousness? Yeah. Okay, so there goes Miles. Or is it flashbacks? Flashbacks. What do you want? Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's not funny, mate. Don't ever do that again, do you hear me? Or I will beat the living shite out of you. No bullshit. I will fucking end you. Whoa! Look at you, all flushed. You're pretty when you blush. Miles! That's Peter taking him over way back then. Think so? Yep. Look at you. That's the kind of talk that an adult would. Because she's reacting in a way there. Was Peter gone at this point? Hey, what... Oh, what was that? I have a neck cracking. Oh, she was having flashbacks during this conversation. What's it about that wine bottle? Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's a vacuum. I thought it was like a broken off piece of something she was going to oh, wail yeah. on somebody with. Yeah. yeah. I thought you knew by the sound. No. I, sorry, folks. Don't tell me what to do. The last time I saw you, you were banging on about me having Owen's batter in my mouth. <laughs> you don't get to talk to me like that again. No, never, never. Okay? Mm. Can I kiss you? <laughs> the sly, sly guy. Yeah. Oh. oh. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the old vacuum. Uh, nothing ever happened. Nothing happened. Didn't see it. Honestly, Hannah, you should give the vacuum a rest. <laughs> Live a little. Hmm. Was not expecting that, actually. Oh, okay, there's that crack. crack. She sees it all the time. Yep. Wonder when we're going to get that answer. Ooh, look at it get bigger. Oh, it's getting deeper. Yes. Looks like it's still there, even in the wallpaper version. Hmm. Ah, trying to sneak off with some jewelry. What are you doing up here? Henry asked me to pick up a few things. But who's that it's vanity? Well, there's a sentimental bloke. Share what's in your pocket. Jesus, son. Buy me dinner first. She's not laughing. To Henry asks you to get that for him. That's true. You know, Charlotte Bunch told me that necklace is over 400 years old. It's probably worth thousands. Hmm. Pawn in it. Funny thing about cleaning the house for years, you know exactly where everything is. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking things that aren't yours. There's them, and then there's us, Hannah. We're the help. What do you suppose happens when you're too old to push them off? Oof. You think Henry will take care of you? Or a lot of the kids? Their lives go on, Hannah. Leaving honest people like us in if we... Oh, what a slime ball. I'll have the necklace, please. Just trying to get inside her head. But did this happen? Here. I think it did. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why she's always reality. always really had it in for Peter. I, I think it did, but I'm also trying to play some scenarios in my head of like, what if it's just a big dream? Smoking in the house? I always thought those lighters were so obnoxious just because you... <laughs> there's a oh, crack in the wall. What does that signify? I know. What's... No spoilers. Is that where someone died? Oh, that could be. Maybe it's where she maybe where she took out Peter, like we're all thinking. It's her footprints. I'm waiting for a jump. Oh. oh! There's Rebecca. Standing up by the is, lake. Is this the night that it happened? That's creepy. Or is that just her ghost? I'm looking at this as an... <laughs> That's why she was off. Be a great learning experience. I have two children to cook for, and so I'm sorry. Um, this is, it's going to sound strange, but haven't we already done this? Yes, but we have to do it again. What? What's going on inside her head? You tell me. What? It's okay. Yeah, she's imagining this. 
was a sous chef, which means they only let you cut vegetables. <laughs> Why am I always so slow with this stuff? <laughs> I, I have no idea what's happening here. She's like caught in a time loop or something. Miles is seven and about to pick him. Miles, tell me more about him. What kind of boy is he? An interesting one. <sighs> it's trouble, but deep down, oh, he's a good boy. That's no, fair. He hasn't been the same since his parents died. See, that... Yeah, and they the, were still alive at this point. Yeah, this boys can be very cruel. Remember, sh she walked out of this. Yeah, this is this is all subconscious. Yeah, this is weird. He's a good boy, and he would never do anything to hurt you. Is that what you were going to say? Subconscious. Yeah. This whole thing, what we're seeing, is in her head. Yep. You admitted he hasn't exactly been himself since his parents died. No, that's not what I meant. Miles Dominic Wingrave, what do you think you're doing? Oh. Wow. She's going over everything See, inside her head right now. He's smoking with the lighter, Peter. Yep. 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 And if you want to keep his lighter, that's okay with me as long as you're safe with it. But you cannot, under any circumstances, be smoking. <laughs> or do you want to die a horrible choking death? Oh, Hannah. Honestly. That's the same thing Peter said to her when, mm -hmm. with the necklace. Or when she got caught, yeah. With the vacuum. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I lit it for you. I hope you don't mind. Well, who's it for? That's for Sam. I don't think you let remembrance candles for the living. But for him, a special case. What would you say to making your position live in? I'd have to sell my house. Oh, precisely. And that would be a lovely nest egg for you. And we would compensate you accordingly, of course. Goes against everything Peter said. We light that candle for him, don't we? Because Sam is gone. That's where she got it from. I appreciate the offer. Really, I do, Charlotte. But Sam is, he's just going for a phase. And he'll be back. He will. I don't think he's coming back for you. Marriage is like religion in a way. You are told to have blind faith in God, even though you can't see him. Wait, Sam is gone. That's her husband who left her that she had to break down about. Well, what's the alternative? Believe in nothing? I mean, I, I still love him. And what he did was... It was horrible, but... Yes, it was. I used to be a daddy's girl. Oh. <laughs> I was a woman with my own opinions, desires, and aspirations, and my father didn't much encourage those. So when you find someone who truly sees you, or you hold on to them and you don't let go, even if they're rough around the edges, even if they're not perfect, I know what you're going to say, so don't. Well, if you know what I'm going to say, then you know why I'd say it. <laughs> I've never met anyone like him. I know he's not perfect. More than that, though, isn't it? Forgive me for saying so, Rebecca, but... He's going to shit out of me. You don't know him, Hannah, you don't. You don't know him. That's the line, isn't it? Yep. You don't know him. He, he, he said he was sorry. Being with him might be scary at times, but it's also exciting and fun. <laughs> and for the first time in my life, that little voice in my head saying I'm not good enough has disappeared. It's gone. And I've never felt so alive. He's the bad boy. Mm-hmm. You told me you never met anyone like him before. And you don't get to have it both ways. <sighs> Honestly. Rebecca! <sighs> Oh. Symbolism there of something that I'm just too brain dead to think of. Oh, there's the lighter. There's Pete uh, with, is he under Miles? <sighs> yep. Miles. Look at him. Having a heater right there mm -hmm. in the church. Smells delicious in here. Um, Bex, can I bore you a moment? Bex? Is that big time Bex? <laughs> <laughs> we had a mouse problem a few years back. The old gardener bought in these glue traps. No violence. That's what he said. A few days later, I came across one of these traps and there's something in it. It was a leg. Paul Mouse was a few feet away. He chewed its own leg off to escape the trap. The poor thing bled to death. That man is a glue trap. Tissue realizes she's stuck. Denial. I'm looking at this as an opportunity to home. <laughs> I'm wondering when we're going to see the break point. I think we're building to that. Yeah. We need a cocoon tent to stay on for a while. Oh, but when the time comes, I won't go running off. I promise you that. No, I'll be stuck in this glue trap of a town just like everyone else. You're familiar with glue traps. We talked about that once. Not yet, we haven't. But I thought about it for weeks after we did. 
that bottomless icy terror, realizing that we may be stuck forever. Do we realize when we're in the glue? Or when the water around us is boiling? Or do we sit there saying this will be okay? I'm okay. Denial! Whoa. Be careful. So, well, who's that in the mirror? They look like Miles. No, no, <laughs> it definitely wasn't. That would be awkward waking up and seeing somebody standing in your door. I don't think they. I don't think she's. If this happened, no. I have to tell you something. What? So she's not really watching them. She, or she's a ghost there or something. I'm doing something big, something big for both of us. You're not making much sense. We're not like them, Bex. Henry's never going to give you the pupilage. He's never going to make me a partner. The only thing we English care about is class. Same sort of thing he told Hannah. We're always going to be the help. And there is the only thing Americans care about is money. I mean, you can be whatever kind of lawyer you want. The things that we could be in America with money. Oh, just selling her on it. I need you to pack your bags and be ready to go tomorrow night. What are you talking about? I can't just... Please, please. And I promise I'll explain everything when I get back. Talking about bank robbery? <laughs> He's going to... I mean, how much stuff could you really take? Jewelry, etc. And don't tell anyone. Anyone. You understand? There's a few things for me to do. And then I'm coming back here for you, I promise. You know, unless he's going to try to rip off the accounts. So we're getting kind of like the prelude. This well, the setup, I should say, the setup for his demise, mm -hmm. and then like her demise. Yep. I don't think Hannah did anything to him. You, I think with the the bad business he's in, did it to him. I think Peter was trying to set her up to take the fall, Rebecca. You know, it's She's interesting. Literally a fly on the wall. Of, you know, how they uh, look at, you know, class over there, what family you came from. Mm -hmm. This is one know. of my favorites. Oh, she knows she's there. Th this... He's so much himself in this one before it went bad. I haven't seen you in this one before, though. What are you doing here? I how did you slip into my... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. No, I wouldn't what? go out Wait. there. I think this is when it happened. It's... Oh, we still are drunk. We're going to get it through Hannah's eyes, though. We're going to see what happened through Hannah's eyes. Oh, you turn up. Oh, you can sleep. <gasps> Did Miles and the kids do it? You heard nope. something. Something downstairs. In Flora's dollhouse. Well, something strange. I'm sure it's fine. Going back to bed, both of you. Peter's sneaking out in the middle of the night. Oh, I'm so, like, sucked in right now. If they cut it off and leave us with a cliffhanger, I'm They gonna... won't do that. Oh, this anticipation walk here. This build. Is he going to go in their room and take something? That's his plan. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Do you think Hannah has an ability? I think. We're just now getting it shown to us? Because she wasn't there I, I think physically. She's, I think she's maybe replaying it in her head. Just that necklace? You're going to move to America with, oh, that's a big jewel. Well, she, Hannah did say thousands. Yeah, were thousands, she said, right? Yeah, thousands, but, but thousands in the 80s, it still doesn't start you a new life. Yeah. And it gets you well, he, pro he oversold. Tickets. You know, he's a shyster, so he was probably overselling it to Bex. I think he's trying to set Bex up to take the fall, I think. He's got no intention of taking her to America. Uh oh, I I said, oh come on, with man. this camera shot. <gasps> oh! <laughs> What the hell is happening here? It's I didn't ghost. even jump scare on that one because it's so badass. Yeah, what the hell is happening? It's leaving the footprints. <gasps> There's no face there. Did you guys see that? Yeah, she was face. Uh, and now he's de-lifed. But did that actually happen? Did the kids actually see it? I bet you they did. I think they did. She's got her doll that doesn't have the face on it. What is going on? What's with the faces? Come on back to bed. What happened? What do you mean? 
What did she do to you? Who? Rebecca? Boy, you're a bit too young to hear, my lad. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's the lady from the lake. The footprints were back. He doesn't know he's... Nope. Yep, he doesn't know he's gone. He's officially a ghost now. Yep. No, no, no. But the kids have the ability to see the ghost. Yep, and so does Hannah. Creepy little thing, though. (laughs) How was he able to pick it up that time? I've seen her before. The others, they say, stay away from her. What others? Oh, here comes a big reveal. She's coming back. With Peter. With Peter. What the hell is Look going on? Stop. Stop. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <gasps> that touch. Yeah. There. Let me go. See, she tra- he transferred into Miles. So there's always going to be some of Peter in Miles. Yep. This episode gave us so much. Oh, man. Oh, she's going to throw him in the lake. I thought that was Rebecca the whole time in the series, though, the lady in the lake. I thought so, too. We are wrong. I got to be honest. I got, I don't know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> like, how did he actually, you know, die? Was he taken out by the lady in the lake? Yeah, I think that's what we just saw. Yeah, the ghost got him. Look at that. This is weird. The way they set it up, they said it was the old... um, Yeah, they said it was Rebecca before. Oh, Oh, Jesus. Oh, that got me. I'm looking at this as... How am I not the one getting the jump scares right now? That one got me. Oh, Yes, apparently we're doing this again. Your fault. <laughs> you tell me. I mean, this is all you. I'm you, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I'm having the strangest of dreams. Are you? Yes, I am. It's <laughs> <No. laughs> so strange. I'm having somebody else's dream. What dreams? Uh, uh, of Peter. I don't know, actually. Um, a woman. A woman in bed with him. Oh, my. It's a woman I've not met before, have I? Haven't you? Two years away. Huh? <sighs> Needs to cook a little longer, I think. One more time. You are Hannah Gross. Yes. The year is 1987. You're at Bly. Dominic is dead. Charlotte is dead. Rebecca is dead. Peter is missing, you think. Flora is eight. <gasps> you think? Something is wrong. With Miles. Yeah, he's Peter. <laughs> yeah. But when does Peter check in? Is it randomly or is there like something that triggers him? Yeah. If we, if you were to go down to the bottom of the lake, do you see a body it's of pizza? You step away from that boy. Do you hear me? The police have been looking and looking for you. And when they find out that you're back. Hannah, of course. Step away, Miles. He won't. He will. Honestly, Hannah, do you ever get tired of being such a bore and you don't know when? To leave well enough alone. For fuck's sake, woman. (laughs) Why can't you just leave well enough alone? Oh, she's going to be gone. Nope. Most of the time, but not right now. To be dragged off this fucking property, away from this god awful trap. But I can't. Can I? You can't. Because? You're dead. I don't like how she's standing by that well. It's going so well. Honestly, Hannah! Oh! Oh! I told you she's a ghost. That's the crack she saw. 
when she checked out. Mrs. Gross? What's happening? Mrs. Mrs. Gross, I'm having the strangest dream. Right back to the beginning. Hi, Miles. It's nice to meet you. What? That she thing. imagined it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, aren't you the gentleman? No, I no. think it happened. No. Hi. Danny. This is from the first episode. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is where it all started, but she's a ghost. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. It was a journey. Okay, I see you made it from One Piece. Yeah. Oh, it was perfect. Who's watching? Peter. Peter. Wonderful. That only is a fine young man. It's a good sort. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, let's find our way inside. I'm sure Mrs. Clayton is eager. I wonder if we go back and watch the first episode, if we see Peter. We can't count on the past. No. Okay. So I still think it was Hannah mixed dream with Miles there. Owen or Peter. Uh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Say it with me. Hannah Gross in Paris. Okay. Now are we going to finally get the bottle explanation? Yes, I mean, I, I will go to Paris with you. She never said that. She wanted to. I'm not going to pan out. He's going to be gone. I'll call you later. No, wait, wait. Please. All well, good. So this is what she wanted to say. Mm -hmm. I still think she's alive. Call me an idiot. But <laughs> you, So you think Hannah's a ghost? Yeah. The whole character this whole time? Yep, but I think I, sees her. I think that's when it happened when she got pushed down the well. Wait! That's why she keeps seeing the cracks. No, no, not a fade. And she can never leave Bly. Oh my god, I think you're right. Because that's where the property ends. Mm hmm Yeah, Hannah Grace. The year is nineteen eighty seven, you are at Bly. She has to keep telling herself that. You had a curse, the year is nineteen eighty seven, you're at Bly. Miles is ten, floor is eight. You're Hannah Gross. Hannah Gross. You're Hannah Gross. No. <laughs> Don't you die. Ah, ah, damn it. Oh, Man, well, Come at on. least we got some explanation. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> call me whatever you want. <laughs> but. Unreal. Well, guys, that was episode five the altar of the dead from blind manor and i feel like we finally got some explanation in this episode to me the big thing that jumped out was they described it well no they they described blind manor when hannah was talking about that trap it, that she saw where the mouse chewed its own leg off to get away that's what blind manor is the whole thing is one big sticky trap and you can never leave like miles uh or peter figured out when he you know hit miles and did a 1980s body transfer action moment there or whatever. Um, and I think these guys disagree with me. I think part of it's my denial, by but the way, I, I think just we got the reveal <laughs> of what happened to Hannah, why she keeps seeing that crack, why she has these moments where she kind of jumps around, uh, through her, uh, moments that happened in her life, different time periods, whatever. I think Hannah's a ghost. I think we had that kind of vibe going on early on when we were like, why is she never eating? Why is she never drinking? Now, they did show her uh, drinking the wine and things like that. But to me, this episode just had so much going on. And again, all the credit in the world to the actors, how they have the ability to be in one mood, one moment, and just like that, flip the switch. And they're totally different. I, I absolutely love uh, when I see that type of thing in movies and TV shows. It's it's just so awesome how it catches you off guard. And we had two jump scares in here, I think. One with, obviously, the, the lady in the lake there was the big one that got me and Diamond Dave. I don't know if Oak's trying to take better care of his heart and try oh, to guys. avoid the jump scares. The scenes. one was obvious, right? Because of the, the, uh, the, the camera set up, the way yeah, they framed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then, whew, that's... And then, of course, for me, the other one that I kind of jumped at was when uh, when I think Hannah met her untimely demise in, in the well. That's that's what I'm going to go with. That's what I think happened. A ton of info in this episode. We saw how much of a slime bag Peter is, and he was trying to sell this dream of lies to Rebecca. And, guys, I thought Rebecca was the lady in the lake who was doing all this. But I thought apparently so, too. Not. I'm really wrong on that. Oh. That, go ahead, go for it, guys. Uh, I, I got to be perfectly honest. I think I'm slightly more confused now because there's been so many layers to this story and thinking back on Hill House, so many layers there. So to try to make any sort of fair prediction, um, the only thing, and this just hit me like 
after we stopped recording and I'm like trying to be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Do you think all the dolls in Flora's dollhouse are people that have died on the manor? Yeah, yes. I think they're I think ghosts. Every Absolutely. single person yeah. in her dollhouse is somebody. Well, that... she did have a doll for uh, for Danny, though, and she's still around, at least as far as we know. For now. <laughs> I mean, now. Who knows? I'm, you know, I'm super confused. The way they jumped back and then he's sitting with Owen again. Part of me felt like, and this is, I know this is like super far-fetched, but you know how Owen talked about he would talk to his mom and she thought he was somebody else, didn't know what year it was, and now she's... Dementia, here, though. Keep that... Dementia, right. Yeah. But she's having... Just so... In, you know, is the Hannah have some sort of dementia? Because she's talking to Owen... And she's forgetting things and thinks she's in a dream. Like, it's also weird. Like, they threw so many things at us. Like, okay, Hannah's in other people's dreams. Um, we saw Peter pass, but we didn't, like, was he taken out by a ghost? Or did something else happen? Or yeah, what, just so. he was in the hallway randomly, and the lady in the lake put him in the choker hold and, like, <laughs> dragged him out and walked him into the lake, and that was it? Um, so I feel like there's a lot more layers that are going to yeah. be peeled back yet. Um I'm, I usually feel like I have some sort of, oh, what if it means this and this and this? And now right. I'm just like, I think maybe, you know, there is something to what you're saying about Hannah's no longer really with us. She saw the crack in the bottom of the well. Mm -hmm. That was the end of her life. And now she's seeing the same crack everywhere. Or what if when that was all a dream and that was part of her dream and in her dream, like think about this. What if she had this like super impactful dream? You know, the ones that we have where you swear it's real life. And even when you wake up, it like throws you off. Like, wow, that was so vivid. What if she saw that crack in the bottom of a well in her dream and now she's seeing it around her house and like, that's the crack I saw in my dream, you know, okay, where you have some sort of premonition. Together. So I, I think, I got to be honest, like, I'd be really curious to, I'm not going to, I'd be curious to read, like, if there was other people who, like, after they saw this, got it right away, or if it threw people off. And normally, I would ask for people to comment, but here's, here's, here's my request. If you are watching along with us, and you started watching, and this episode is the furthest that you've gone, then please comment. Yeah. Otherwise, no spoilers. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, we're talking about an episode that just sucks you in and yeah. makes you be like, okay, now I got to get on to the next one. Yeah, and you'll have to forgive me, Diamond Dave, because I want to get no. it out before I forget no. because I'll maybe remember. Okay, so we've always been seeing Rebecca by the lake, right? And so we all thought she was the lady in the lake. They were dressed similar, similar hair. I don't think the, the complexion is exactly the same, and obviously there's no face on the ghost we saw. But how could she be the one who took out Peter when she's still around? So that's what I can't wrap my head around. But, uh, again, I'm sure we'll find out. You know, to – my thought process is kind of where Dave's at. You know, when you have those dreams that are so real, when you like you jolt out of a yeah. midnight nap, whatever, whatever yep. kind of sleep you're in, and you just jolt out of it because you're like, holy fuck, that just <laughs> did that, that happen? Did that <laughs> felt real? Like in a multiverse, that probably happened, right? But <laughs> you know, that's where I think Hannah was right there at the well. Now. I'm gonna if I'm wrong, I'm blaming it on my denial because of that. Because they clearly did show us that she fell. But see, here's the thing though: people are still seen here, but they've showed us that the kids, for the most part, see everything. But Danny sees yep. Peter, so it, they're real selective on who they can see. But Hannah is seen by everybody, so yep. it can't be everyone that sees her. Um, Do you remember? And that? Jamie had conversations with Hannah. Remember? Mm -hmm. in that little garden house thingy, whatever you yeah. want to call it. I'm just lack of words right now. But I, uh, gosh, 60% of me is right now believing Hannah's still alive. It was just that impactful, yeah. real field dream. Do you guys remember early in the episode, they did that quick cut to like Hannah having her neck snapped. We were, we were all like, what the hell was that? That's the same That's way it happened in the well. Oh, you know? cracked in the well. Because I immediately thought of the the, the bent neck lady from. Uh, I Hill just House. dropped from sixty to fifty one. <laughs> just to kick. I, 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 my little little tiny little nitpick, and this is just me. I was wondering why we kept seeing like the 
like those flat. I'm like, come on, we get you nailed us ten times with this. You're just giving yeah. us ten more. I get it, but yeah. I get where they were going. I still feel like they didn't have to do as many, but obviously it led to. I can't. I, I man, I'm just so. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go back now to the first couple episodes and watch Hannah's movements, gesture. Yep. I mean, what do you guys think about like, like? Are you reflecting back now of like moments with Hannah too? Because I, I think she's gone. Man. I, I think the thing is, is so we know that Danny or Miss Clayton, we know that she can see dead people because she still has flashes of her ex, but it's yeah. always flashes in the mirror, right? Yeah. Reflection. But reflection. Yeah. Excuse me. Reflections in well, the Well, the one but she can face see, to face in the garden. Remember? Yeah, but she can see, yeah. but she can see Peter, who now we know oh, is is dead. And so maybe she can still see Hannah. So she's interacting with Hannah, who may be dead. The kids are interacting with Hannah. Maybe they can see somebody dead. But we have Owen also interacting with Hannah. Like I mean, I think at the end of the day, you start to question who's alive here and who's not. Like, who is even... I mean, are any of these people real? I You know, that would I mean, be the kicker. If is any of the these people real? Episode? Now, well, you remember, this This isn't a show of what's happening now. Obviously, it's 1987. Yeah, it's a mix. It, it, this is a narration yeah. from the mom from Hill House yes. talking to a party. Yep. Talk about a long, drawn-out story <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I mean, for, for sitting around. But so it's all a story. So is anybody in this story real? Is the whole thing a ghost story? Is everybody lived in the past? Is it a bunch of ghosts floating around at a place who came and went at different times, all interacting? And they, they just keep reliving certain days? Because when the Rebecca was in the bed in Hannah's dream, she said, this one is like one of my favorites. I like when Peter's like she this She likes or having, like she yeah. has that memory or that dream of, right. you know. So no, much I think a lot of us Hannah have, was getting placed into those dreams because yeah, she yeah. acknowledged, like, what are you doing? I haven't seen you here a yet. A lot of us have yep. recurring dreams, very similar dreams. Sometimes it's not a carbon copy, and sometimes we can't really remember. Maybe it is. But we have recurring dreams of something happening. And so Rebecca was saying, hey, this is the recurring dream I have of Peter, you know, when he was saying, like, you and I are going to go start a better life. All of a sudden, Hannah's in the dream. I don't remember you. I mean, the whole thing yeah. is, like, look, this discussion that we're having, it's very... <laughs> The way that everything is shot and written, I think it's done very purposefully yep. to keep people guessing and to foster conversations like this. If it was just a straightforward cut and dry, then, oh, here's what happened. Now let's go on to the next episode. Now, I don't think it's the way they're doing it. I think they very purposely make these episodes to invoke a lot of thought, to possibly confuse you, to bring up multiple scenarios. Mm -hmm. And we know we saw that in Haunting of Hill House. Yep. And so if if anybody saw Hill House and then came into this and thought that this is going to be a straightforward show <laughs> and they're going to spoon feed you not the, the plot, it's like that's not the case at all. So uh, mission accomplished by the writers yeah. for having people sit around and question what exactly just happened without having any real answers, which hopefully we'll get as we move forward. I'm guessing at the conclusion, they probably, we, we won't know what happened until in this episode. The last, the last minute of the last episode, the end of episode last nine. scene. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, what's great is I haven't had those like real fuel dreams in like forever. Bet you this triggers it now, like in yeah. the next week, <laughs> you know, and, and we talk about guys all the time, you know, about shows. Do you binge them? Do you watch them uh, a week at a time when they come out? I think a show like this now, yes, it's on Netflix. Yes. They, drop the whole thing at once but man this is a show i feel like you almost deserve it if you're watching it with like a significant other or maybe friends where you watch it and then discuss give it some time and then watch again because it's too good to like wolf down like some wings on a sunday during a football game it's just too good is, is it, but what if you had <laughs> picture the the rainiest saturday <laughs> all your housework is done you can't it's never go outside. done <laughs> Got you don't nine want to go hours. shopping. <laughs> your pajamas are comfy. You wake up, make yourself some coffee at 10 a.m., and next thing you know, you're in episode seven or eight. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I could definitely see myself uh, binging this particular series because I would have to know. Oh, I got. I, I got to know yeah. what happens next. Uh, Play. You know, like I, I just think the discussion that you could have with somebody who's also watching would be so dang good. I would hate to see it wasted, but maybe you could still do that if the other uh, individuals may be binging with you. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I got nothing. I'm still thinking. Diamond Dave's got nothing, so I'm gonna take us home. So for the Appleton Oak, Diamond Dave Damone, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bly Manor. It's so good, guys. We'll see you back on the next one. Lord Wingrave greatly preferred the confines of his office to the comfort of his London flat. He trapped himself there, day and night, tucked away in his work, in his nightly routine, mm. until he was entombed in it. Until there was no room left inside of him for anything. Oh, else. I like how they show the bottle, bottle. keep going down. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like that door open. Oh, oh, oh. see that silhouette? Yep. Yeah. Scotch or bourbon tonight? Is he talking to himself or the he person is. that's sitting there? No, he's talking Scotch to himself. It is. <clears throat> and now they're gone. Jesus. What, has everybody in the family got some kind of weird issue about him? It was faster to have the doctor come here. Hospital's two hours away. The doctor was 40 minutes away. Miles? He's fine. He's asleep. He's... Okay, so that's oh what the room used to look oh like. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he gave a little bit of a weird look there. Yeah. He said, you my girls, my girls, very specifically, and then he gave a weird look. Are they trying to infer? imply that the, uh, the daughter isn't, isn't who we think it is? I thought I'd bring you some coffee. Oh, okay. The Yanks in your coffee. You might like it. Oh, it's coffee, so it's much it, better it's than the be tea. It's going to be better than a tea, yeah. Probably. Uh, see, I've had European coffee, and I don't like it at all. Oh, neither I'm not the best either. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying for you, Danny. Everything's been a bit strange, really. No Owen, no you. I seem to see less and less of Hannah. She just goes out, I guess. Sometimes I just turn around and she's gone. She's a ghost. <sighs> so you just got up with the sun. You were uh, tiptoeing around the kitchen, making mm. awful coffee by yourself, just to come say hi at six in the morning. Poppins, you flirt. <laughs> <laughs> I also like my life the way it is. Nice and boring. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to disrupt that. Gotta keep things proper boring. <laughs> haven't we? <laughs> Laura, <laughs> hey, 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 what are you doing? Is that kind of a she, snap out of it? She just snapped out of it, yeah. How long have you been out here? She doesn't know. I just woke up. Oh. I don't know. Well, that was wild. What did they... She's getting a little confused. she take her and put her back in her bed? Now, mind you, all of this, when we go back to the beginning, is being told as a story. <laughs> so it's like... Hello? Uh, is that Miles? I think That was no. quick. Are, are the footprints there? Is that you? Uh, it, it's got to be Miles. Here it is. All right? Nope, here it comes. That's the jump scare shot. <laughs> Third. Oh, I guess it's okay. Wait. Nope. That's not Miles. What the hey. hell is this? Turn around. Ah, man, here it comes. I'm sure. No face. Watch. No face. No, it's no face. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Okay. So that's who we saw earlier, but grown up, or in the other episode. Mommy. Oh. We're going way back. Oh, Miles? For God's sake. It's not Miles. Uh -oh. oh, there's our answer. There's our answer. I didn't I drive knew. back to the city last night. Uncle Henry slept over. I told you, when the dad said, my girls, my girls, they showed a close-up of his yep. face where you could tell he was like, uh-uh. Uh-huh. I knew it. Well, I didn't know it until <laughs> it was a very short while ago. This is strange. I suppose it's because I'm too old. You should be five years old, in fact. You were five years old when this happened. Why aren't I five years old? Oh, she's inside her yep. head Talking like Hannah now. was. Conscience. Yeah. Keep getting tucked away. 
and more memory than another. And then I start to realise it, and I'll be over as soon as I... Wake up. Hey, hey, you just, you just nodded off there. <laughs> Quite tired. I'd like to go back to sleep. But to dream, not a memory. Dream this time. Mm -hmm. The doll is still underneath the remember how, dresser. Remember how they talked about how Rebecca just walked into the lake mm -hmm. and drowned? Mm -hmm. Seems weird, right? You think you'd wake up when you weren't getting air? I wonder if when Rebecca walked into the lake and drowned, she was under the same sort of mm. trance. Well, you, you tell your dad even figments need a story. Tell him yourself. Dad, <laughs> Uncle Flew in last night, last flight out of Glasgow. Spur of the moment. Don't worry about the case. I'm heading back tomorrow. How did you know? That I was back. Why are you calling? I was looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've answered my own question, actually. I've sorted it out. Well done. Safe travels. Well, that was weird. Yep. Oh, boy. He's uh -oh. starting to put the pieces yeah. together. Or okay. Maybe. So what story did we get in the beginning? How did the the parents pass or how did he say the parents passed in a car accident was it or something Don't like know that who you're trying to hide from oh, so he does see him yep well his, himself so we decided on scotch and bourbon tonight and the 62 at that i like how they're Are doing you this sure we can He's still talking. afford it we're seeing him talk to himself Peter robbed you blind oh send a notice every time something comes in without ever bothering you with it wait what Did you he... insist on handling it so that no one does they never he... recorded He's the every dudas. time you send out a notice of death the world where you can pretend your brother is still alive gets a little bit smaller oh okay. what i'm telling you they didn't die in an accident or whatever he told Miss Clayton in the beginning. Nope. Something super sketchy happened here. Old, All over love, Dave. Old yep. Oak is on the case. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, about time, guys. <laughs> about time. Like, just, just this is huge reveals. No, man. it is. Yeah. It really is. Oh, look who's back. Except all day. Uh, nothing underneath the uh, dresser except a doll. If she's the same tomorrow, I'm going to call a doctor. Yes, yes, that sounds about right. I called Henry, but he didn't call back. Henry's not exactly himself anymore. You don't say. Ever since Charlotte and Dominic went on that blasted trip, well, I suppose none of them came back. He was with them. They never went on a trip. He 86 them and made it, ugh, covered it up by making it look like they went on a trip. Classic. It's looking that way. Dun, dun, dun. Sometimes when I travel, I watch forensic files, and that seems to be like in the 70s and 80s, the way people tried to get away with it. Yeah. Trips. Like, oh, somebody went on a trip, and they drive their car, leave it somewhere, stuff yeah. like that. Forensic files. Oh, look oh. at the little oh, kid. Oh, look at the little kid playing in the dollhouse. Oh, that was nice. Subtle. They're going to hit us with a bad, bad jump Wasn't scare it soon, I feel Around like. episode six in Hill House. Wasn't this weekend? Yeah. It's Patrick Swayze. Worst. Episode eight. Oh. <gasps> Patrick Swayze? You planted that? Yeah. It's a moonflower. Bloody hard to grow in England. Yeah, but. That kind of looks like Daryl's Cherokee Rose. Is it? I'm waiting for something to pop out behind that fence. When was Louise? Dad was Dennis. Dennis met Louise when she was 18. He was 24. Dad starts working in a coal mine. He's barely home now. And Louise, Louise is home with the kids. She's basically a kid herself. Kid with two kids and a husband 600 metres down. So she does what kids do. So Dad's underground and Mum's under some bloke. Oh. The thing about a coal mine, see these men, all that death, that dark, Powdery death is all over his face. And when he finally climbs out of that grave, they laugh at him. They laugh because the whole town knows that the new baby, my little brother Mikey, isn't his. Oh, ouch. And you're carrying this guilt around, but I also know that you don't decide who lives and who doesn't. We're meant to die. It's natural. And every living thing grows out of every dying thing. We leave more life behind us to take our place, like this moonflower. So all its beauty lies, you know. The mortality of the thing. 
All right, let's try this again. <laughs> that speech kind of reminded me of the the old man from Hill. Granted, now his was one mm. consistent shot, but the monologue that he had to read, though, yeah. felt like that. It did. I was thinking a Lion King, Mufasa, Circle of Life speech. <laughs> I mean, well. just much more eloquently spoken and mm -hmm. more dramatized. Uh-oh. Who's up to no good? What are we going to do about this? Oh, I don't this know. is going back to the first time, I think, is what mm. this is. I truly don't know. Yeah, this is going back to the beginning of all, mm. all of this. <laughs> all this oh. right <laughs> this. here. This. All this. <laughs> Unsettling indeed. He's going to look over and see something, right? Or himself. Ah. His guilty conscience. Yeah, that's not the image. That's not the image you want to have. <laughs> Myself. No, all of it. <laughs> One more piece in the car. Okay, I'll grab it. Thanks, Peter. Uh, the old dollhouse. Okay. Oh, uh, bought his <gasps> niece. Oh, my a doll God. Dollhouse. What have you done? I found a gentleman in Sussex who makes these. Figured I'd get it from my daughter. <laughs> Hopefully, this smooths it over. Oh, she's six. She'll only notice the presents. Not here. I'll get the last of it. The old boy watching from the balcony see that or what? Sounds good. Darling, look what your brother's brought. It's terrific. Yep. I'm sorry I can't make the birthday party. You know how it is. I'll call you when I get to Berlin. Sounds perfect. Busted. Uh, yep. Totally yep. busted. Yeah, that pinky, uh, that pinky was, that's, that's a telltale sign. Yep. You uh, thinking what I'm thinking? That maybe the hubby is the one is who, the one who 86 both him and her. Yep. And now the uncle there has, has, all, the has all the guilt. I'd say you're probably on to something mm. there. That was a pretty deadpan face. It's mm. a very interesting theory there, Dave. Call me Sherlock Dave. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just sitting here in the dark. Whatever are you doing here? Just sitting in the here dark. Here it comes. Just wanted something small before going to sleep. Extra energy. It's going Look to be how she's, in the morning. She's all dressed to go to bed, yet he's still in the suit. Yep. You should get some rest as well. Are you coming to bed? Uh-oh. Not with that face. He looks like Meatloaf. For his birthday. <laughs> Got me thinking. Oh, what a strange no. night that was. Was it? I don't remember much. Beauty of childbirth. We're supposed to forget this, eh? I would die right now if there you start singing a, Bad Out of Hell. There was a reason they didn't go to the hospital. It's the only way we'd ever have another one. <gasps> it was so early. Oh. I mean that if she wasn't early, she was actually right on time. That math wouldn't work. Because he wasn't there. It was gone an awful lot, wasn't I? Only. House this size, Stu and Miles. Lonely. Do you love him? That's a yes. Nice. Oh. Oh. She's got no problem looking in the mirror. <gasps> Guilt is gone. Right? Well, it's just, just more, more mirrors. What the hell? Oh, there's, it is Flora. Okay, it seemed a little tall to be Flora. Were you sleepwalking again? I don't, I don't know. I think I was sucked away again. Come on, let's go inside. Why does this keep happening? Oh, jeez. Touch. Is she gonna faint again? Terribly sorry for the trouble. I was just going on walk. Didn't mean to alarm me. That was Rebecca taking That's over. That's Rebecca talking, yep. Famished. <laughs> oh, was that all the talk then? A perfectly splendid was by her? Yeah, because so, remember, yeah. Rebecca used to say that, right? Miss Clayton called again. I think maybe you should... Is anyone hurt? Do they need an ambulance? No, I don't think it's that simple. Jesus, I've told you. I'm unavailable unless someone is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> This dude. God damn it. 
Yeah, go check on your daughter, bruh. Yeah. Or should I say bruv? Five. For the... Bruv. <laughs> bruv. Get it back on the phone. Oh, oh. now it's his turn. Hey. Uh-oh. What's all this oh, thing? Oh, he's cutting them off. Nicole. He's pulling everything from them. I don't. Babies rarely adhere to a scheduled dom. But listen, and this is the important part. She's my daughter. When she skins her knee, calls out with a nightmare. First time some asshole breaks her heart, I'll be there to console her. And when she asks her father to walk her down the aisle, me, not you. Do you understand me? I get to be here when the penny drops. <laughs> Been thinking about what the right word must be. And I keep getting stuck on banished. It's close. It has teeth. And not nearly enough. And it'll do for now. You go, dude. That's why, that's why he had to get rid of them. Otherwise, he'd have nothing. You're banished from my wife. My children. You don't have a brother anymore. Or a niece. Or a nephew. Or a daughter. Nobody. Just yourself. Your real self. He's an evil shit. Oh, that's how it started. Grotesque little demon, isn't he? I pity you. Because you have to live with him. You have to live with yourself. And he's a shit, grinning, fucking monster. Oh, that was that was pretty damn Perfection. good. Perfection. Per. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to get rid of him. Otherwise, he'd be out of the family business, so to speak. I'm still holding on to it a tiny bit of hope. Pretty clear that dude was getting cut off. Oh, I mean, there easy, would have dear. been signs that. <laughs> it's further than I'll miss but you. But if everybody thinks he's alive, you could forge documents or whatever. Maybe. I'm still holding on to hope. It's just a few weeks, my darling. That my theory is right. Can I come with you? Wait. The it's the vacation. Yeah. And I don't want to be here all alone with Miles and Mrs. Gross. Hmm. Wait, were the mom and dad really planning a trip? Like maybe like, hey, let's try some couples therapy? Uh, this I don't judging by his speech to his brother, I think so. I've made them since uh -oh. I was your age, really. Ooh. What does it do? Well it protects people and it keeps them happy. Tucked away again in another memory. Tucked away safe. Miss you, mommy. Okay, so maybe the parents were actually planning a trip. I just thought, you know, 86 and bury them in the land and say, oh, they went on a trip. I <laughs> made you sleep. It was some of my best work. I don't remember that. I told you she wasn't herself. You seem fine, but weird. I don't like this game. It's okay. I don't like it. Oh, that's probably your uncle. Everything's going to be okay, Flora. Don't, don't worry. Hello? Hello? Oh, bro's doing this again. Yep. No, who's... Who does he want to answer? No, he's Do trying... you really yeah. think she'll answer one of these times? Oh, see? F f he's getting sad. He's trying to call the wife. Or Don't imagine there's much in it for her. One in ten times you call, she might answer. You might hear her say, Flora residence. Oh, or, uh, she's waiting for the daughter call. to answer. Flora. I'm so sorry. I should have told you. Oh. Oh, he, Flora. he didn't even know that. I mean, he should have been able to do the math. He would have known his brother was in Russia. I'm going to make this work. My husband, my family. But I couldn't leave without... I love you, Charlotte. You see, he doesn't strike me as a... Oh, okay, the old Star Wars. <laughs> I love you. There's a lot more I to know. it than love. There's a lot more to it. Does she know that he's like broke now? Yes. And she's like, I don't want that life. He doesn't strike me as the, the Mr. You need to meet Mr. Mayhem kind of type. Yeah. But his alter ego is. Screws my theory all up that they were going on a trip. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. <laughs> Show us. Jumping ahead, if you don't mind, to my favorite part. Here we go. I want to see it again. No. The night we met. Is this like a subway? Like a train? The tube. Come on, there's nothing to be afraid of. You know who it is. It's the British consulate in India. No. 
Please. They have terrible news. Was it really an accident? Oh, they threw me for a loop. Was it really just like That's an, what I'm an accident? A legit accident? Oh, hello. Yes, speaking. Ah, oh, damn it! They're not gonna. We're not gonna hear the conversation. What sort of an accident? Well, surely they're all right. And he's the sole beneficiary. Well, that face confirms it. He had nothing to do with it. Yeah. You're mistaken. <laughs> oh, this is the first time he met him. I'm your evil subconscious. <laughs> Come here. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was hell. Every time is hell. No, that wasn't the worst of it. Not even arranging their funerals. <laughs> hell was having to call Bly. Having to break the news. And having her voice be the first one you heard when she picked up the phone. Oh, oh no. Saying... So he's a dirt bag, but he's not a, a yeah, he Mr. Didn't, he, meat, ha, meet Mr. Mayhem type of person. Yeah, he didn't take him out. She needs a psychologist. My assigned psychologist, Tamara, she was relentless. So I started talking just to shut her up. After a month, I realized I was sleeping through the night. Good night. Ugh. There were other nights, and there will be other nights. You promise? God damn, I'm questioning oh. everything. Phone just disconnected. So? So? It shouldn't be. It wasn't earlier. I'm sure it's nothing. I like how they alter his, uh, the voice. his voice. Yeah. I'm going to Bly. <laughs> That's insane. It's a three hour drive and you've been drinking all well. Oh, is he done too? Meeting. For two years. <laughs> two really. years. So you'll go to Bly then. They'll be so happy to see you. And maybe you can tell those little kids to their faces exactly how their parents died. And you can tell them why they were taking that trip in the first place. Oh, yeah. Why they took the trip yep. is... Yep. All because of him, which then makes sense of why he's got this guilty conscience. Not only because he was the cheating. Whole reason so he... Not the not because of the wife brother. <gasps> Who's that? Whose hands is that? That's going to be the little kid with no face. Who eventually becomes the woman with no face. God, dude, that's creepy, man. Wait. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> got a ghost running. We got Flora. Oh boy. Hello? In the attic. Hmm. This isn't gonna end well, is it? Well, she did see the faceless yep. figure up there before. Yeah, so it's Mm, nope. Dolls? Mm -mm. You guys don't have those in your attic? There you are. Uh. Don't be scared. I'm sorry I was scared before. That was very rude of me. I thought I'd give you a story. Is that a young Jamie? So sorry about your face. The hair matches Jamie almost. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Oh, oh, just Look at not that. creepy at all. Oh, that's, that's, that's awful. That's, that shit will give you nightmares. I've done it again, oh. haven't I? Tucked away again in another memory. Ah. Uh. The night I gave you a new face, I was only just five years old. And that's when she got the news, I bet, about her parents. Why do you keep pushing me aside, Miss Jessel? I don't like this game. Me neither. Stop <laughs> hiding from me. They're gonna, they're gonna end it with a jump scare. Yeah, uh, come from behind the door, maybe. Whoa! Oh, there she is. I'm tired of being tucked away. I'm tired of forgetting things, and I'm tired of acting strange. 
And of Miles acting strange. What's the matter with Miles? Miles is perfectly splendid, except <laughs> when he isn't. Isn't Miles? Ooh. She... No. Does she not know that Peter's... Well, that face... What are you doing to me? All right. Oh, she shit. sees her? She sees her too. Flora? Come here. Oh, shit. Oh, I got goosebumps on that one. Same. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's gonna see Peter. Well, oh. this is awkward. Miles! Oh, she touched her shoulder. That's not Flora. Flora? Oh, we gonna shit. Th see the... Oh, oh. We're going to see the, uh, the, the no face lady. A lot of stuff going She's on. She's definitely going to see no face. Flora, we got to go. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not creepy mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you see the move Sorry. motion behind her? Yep. Oh, Miles! Oh, that was Miles, right? Oh. That was. <laughs> that was Miles. It looked like for a second the face was kind of blurred. No, nope, that was one hundred percent Miles. Didn't it look like Miles wearing the mask, though. No, that was. I didn't see no mask. I saw yeah. Miles. I mean, I saw Miles' Did hair. We just back up for. I mean, this is a first for our channel. No, I. Can, I, can we just back up to see if that was Miles at the end? I got. Let's see. That here. was not a very jolly corner. That was Miles. I think. I it, swear I thought it makes I saw me start all over. Miles with the mask on. I thought it was Miles' hair with the mask it's, on. Cause it was, I didn't see a mask. I saw Miles. It was very quick. The jolly corner. We just got to pause it right there. I'm sorry. This is going to be rough here. There's no face. I don't think. He's wearing... No, he's... There's some face okay. right there. Oh, pause it. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, it is. Oh, it wow. Is, his hair hangs down. <laughs> the way that <laughs> light was, it looked at first like yeah. there was a mask on. Yeah, they do it pretty quick there. But that's... Yeah, that's yeah, 100% that's miles. 100% miles. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Oh, boy. Oh, glad we got <laughs> verification on that. Thanks now we know for, for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, oh. we, we had to be sure... And uh, that the ending what was was what we thought it was. That was episode six of Bly Manor. <laughs> this episode was had you on the edge of your seat waiting for a jump scare that we never really got. I guess <laughs> it, it was the it was the teasing of it the whole time, and we finally got some backstory uh, about the parents, about the no good brother, about. I mean, a, a lot. lot of stuff dropped in this episode and so much to digest. I just thoroughly enjoyed it, first and foremost, above anything. I thought it was outstanding. Um, these, This series has been incredible. Hill House was incredible. Uh, but this one, we didn't get answers to, unfortunately, our, our core characters. We're still waiting to, to see if, if Hannah's actually a ghost, which I think she is. Uh, we're st the relationship... With Danny and uh, and the gardener is uh, sorry for the names, guys. You know me in names. I'm terrible. Jamie and Jamie, Jamie. Uh, is very interesting in the fact that Jamie's still, of course, a little bit standoff, not standoffish, but taking things, I guess, a little bit slower than what Danny would obviously like. And I think Danny's just excited that she's not seen uh, the ghost of her Rex. long gone uh, fiance. You know, so that's kind of out of her out of her memories, I guess, or the, the ghosts are gone. So I think she finally feels like she can live a little. Things start to go well, and then what happens? She sees Miss Miss Jessel and Peter right there and then gets hit in the head by Miles. So not a good episode for Danny, but we learned a ton about what was going on at Bly. Yeah, as far as just, like, informative and, like, revealing so many things to us, this is this is one of the better episodes I think I've seen, including Hill House and Bly. I mean, this just gave us so much. Of course, the reveal of um, <laughs> of Flora not being, uh, you know, the daughter that we thought they were yeah. or that she was. Yeah, Henry. Um, yeah, it wasn't Henry's daughter. I mean, 
<laughs> that that right there was crazy and like they gave us that little bit just in you know I, i've said this a million times once you've watched enough movies you know if they if they just hang on to a shot for just a half second too long you know that was something, something. up and he's like oh my girls you got that reaction which is you know the thing is is he knew right then you know, he uh, he acted surprised later. Yeah, like, in the oh, office. Ugh, ugh, you know, but it's like he, he, he'd known for he the knew. whole time, mm-hmm. which, of course, I think, you know, um, you know was, was implied later. Like, he knew what was going on the whole time. Yeah, but that was a huge twist. I mean, there's, I mean, the first five episodes, no inclination that, you know, that there was anything, which there wouldn't be because, you know, this wasn't part of the story that they gave us. But the way they revealed it, I thought was brilliant. Um, you know the the whole speech that um, that Jamie gave in the garden out at night about the moonflower and stuff. I thought was was a really interesting speech and a really interesting you know take on life. I mean, there's so many people who are passionate about different things and have their their views on on life and, and death and everything in between. And like I said, it was you know she started talking about you know everything lives, we're organic, we pass and. You know, the, the new things grow from that. I'm like, hey, this is Mufasa talking to Simba <laughs> in the circle of life about eating the antelope. And when, you know, you die, you go to the grass and then the antelope eat the grass. And Elton John comes out and gives us a banger. Um, <laughs> but in any regard, I thought that was a really good speech done very eloquently and hit really, um, hit really hard. Um, just so many twists and turns. The biggest, like, twist for me was that now Danny can see other ghosts yeah. we knew that she was and seeing hero we knew that she was seeing peter earlier on mm-hmm. and we knew that and but nobody else was seeing peter and now we know that she can see um rebecca as well and now i'm starting to wonder like i really think like hannah is probably a ghost now i'm wondering about owen i'm wondering if miss rebecca mm-hmm. or excuse me if um jamie. if danny is even in danny and jamie are even real? I'm wondering if this Danny's, isn't. I think Danny's real. I, I don't. Think everybody it's else. Some old abandoned house, and it's just all the ghosts living and interacting in their own timelines. And uh, I don't know. This is, they've done such an amazing job with this. I have so many questions, and I can't wait to see the next episode. You know, do you gentlemen? Let me talk. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Do you? Did you guys feel like? Uh, I've, this one, this episode compared to Hannah's episode was a little bit more, at least for us three, easier to track and pick was, up the, the the nuggets that they were leaving yeah, you know, a little bit well, more. Yeah, I think we were prepared for it, but Hannah's episode, like it was just so like out of the blue. In this one, it's like, okay, okay, we're doing time jumps. But I think even in this episode, as it played out, it was very, or it, it was much more clear Especially that these since that saw these the were time, time jumps, jumps before and you know we ready and, and it even wasn't like having, a setup yeah. having Henry's alter ego say oh you it's remember my favorite that part. time this yeah. is my memory and then yep. you know Hannah or not Hannah but Flora when she was saying like I'm too old for this to be a uh, uh, to be real life because I was five and this happened so it's and that's and that that's an interesting thing because sometimes when we have dreams it's our adult self in a like living through a memory that we had as a child yeah. which was a really unique thing for for them to do because that's a very real thing that happens is you find yourself in this dream living out a scenario that you know happened as a child but you're an adult having the dream i thought that was brilliant yeah again i'm questioning everything now after this episode because i think you guys already kind of hit on it like hannah now I'm still holding on to a tiny bit of hope that she might be alive, even though it's pretty clear for the most part that she's probably gone. Um, With uh, We were so wrong. We had multiple guesses on the husband and wife. You know yeah. what happened to them? Yeah, we didn't even consider that it could have just, been a legitimate no, accident. No, you accident, just think yeah. like, I've been, that tells me I've been watching too much forensic <laughs> yeah. files, and he tried to hide that after. So yeah. it made it look like they were going on a trip. Well, and like, they showed that he was a dirtbag, right? Uh, the uncle with cheating on his, you know, the wife. Yeah. With, you know, it's his brother's wife. So they they painted that picture pretty quick. Uh, well, decently. I mean, for some, like, mm-hmm. oh, got it right away. Yeah. Uh, so they painted that picture that he was a dirtbag, but I never, I know you were trying to say, oh, he did it, he did it, but I just didn't get a full all right vibe that he yeah. was, hey, I'm a, I'm a killer, so to speak, where 
you know, his uh, the his normal subconscious uh, inner ego uh, of himself. He just didn't that that ego. I'll just call him ego. That ego of himself was he just loved pain. Yeah. Or some kind of like. You know what I really disturbance. Thought, I really thought as it was going on, and I kind of switched my mind. I thought the original husband took out the wife. Henry finds out, and in order to keep the money train coming in from the husband, yep. uh, makes it look like they just went on a trip. Yep. Because as far as everybody else knows, they're just they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. Which is nobody else because they talk. Happened. Which is interesting because they talked about him doing a funeral in fake caskets, which he must have just done at Bly and done very privately yep. because he still hasn't still gets actually still hasn't reported the passing mm -hmm. and if there's money coming in from other stuff yeah, or whatever investments or whatever i mean yep. he's he's the one kind of dealing with it so uh, whoever wrote this is is this is just such brilliant writing you know what i want you know what i want i want like the abridged version of somebody else telling this story at a party all right so look here's what happens <laughs> here's, here's this girl baby well shit. see now that's where i'm i'm questioning everything because we are still in the story from carla Yep. You know, we haven't co even come yeah. back to visit like one scene of her being like, whoa, don't interrupt my story. And then, you know, like getting back yeah, into it. Like right now, we're still narration. in that one yeah, consistent like, I mean, story. So I mean, I'm still wondering if everything is really real. Like this is a long story to tell. Like yeah. everyone, I've got a ghost story. It's, it's like, like, it's like an eight parter. <laughs> That's why I want to watch the abridged version. Yeah. All right. So this nanny goes to take over. She's still messed up from her boyfriend dying, got hit by a car. Long story there. Blah, blah, blah. And the brother was hooking up with a wife, had a kid, wasn't his. Other brother finds out six years later. Like, yeah. we, I just want to watch somebody do an abridged version of this story like you were sitting around in a social yeah. setting like that. I like that. Um, I love I've, the answers that we got, by the way. I, I find it interesting that they're, they're telling this story as somebody, because they didn't need to start it like that. They just could have said, like, you know, London, 1987. And boom, they didn't need to start it with the mom from the first one telling the story at a party. At a party, yeah. which I, look, the, these writers are so brilliant. I'm sure they're doing it for a reason. Yep. Oh but, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. three episodes left, man. Reveal, so yeah. I don't know. Like, it's just this episode well, was awesome. I think. Well, let's take a look at what we know for sure. Who's been able to leave Bly? Owen and Danny. So far, the only ones we've seen leave. Well, Bly. Jamie supposedly technically comes. Jamie. says she does, but we've never seen it. You know, so I, if I had to bet, I would think that everybody, I think everyone. even possibly the children, Flora and Miles, at this point, are all ghosts. But I guess we'll see because, like I said, we haven't seen. Them. We still got three episodes. We so. haven't seen anybody else leave Bly, and we know they can't. We saw that with Hannah. She tries to leave, and then it just—it's a black wall of nothingness. Mm -hmm. so. We're gonna, we gonna talk about Miles. <laughs> Conk. That would look. To be fair, that was probably Peter. That was probably sure. Peter. Miles wouldn't dare. Oh. Notice uh, the all the evil stuff that Miles has done has been under the influence of Peter. Oh, yep. and, was... and she put her hand yep. on Flora mm -hmm. right right before that, that was all Peter. Happened. Which now I you can see in Flora, like her. If you watch her posture, like her hands are out in front of her like a ghost. If you watch her posture on that, maybe yeah. they. Oh God! Like, like they want something with Miles. Well, we got a queued up watch. I, unfortunately, it's not playing for you guys right now. But see, yep, see, how, it's how she's standing, just like. Uh, I'll have a Rebecca. photo. I'll post. Yeah. I'll post up a photo. But it's of it's interesting up. because now, okay, now I'm thinking, um, you know, Peter gave us this speech about how people like him never end up in houses like this, and they're always the help. Yeah. And now you get like this weird, like maybe she is the living person there, and Peter and um, Rebecca are using the children as some vessel. Yeah. To get rid of like yeah i guess it would make sense then if the children were alive that'd be pretty dark if they weren't i guess but that, that does who, make sense who knows no spoilers everything. No, no thank spoilers. you again Question to everybody thank yeah. you again to everybody who just like commented pay attention to this and pay attention to that without giving spoilers again we're a little bit behind on this so please uh keep the the advice be patient with us <laughs> be patient with us but uh yeah this one was great absolutely well guys that's been blind manor it was a lot of fun we can't wait to see you on the next one so for the appleton oak that's diamond dave damone i'm mason quinn we'll see you back next time